What's up YouTube? It's Joel here. We've got your four stimulus check update. We have amazing news. There's discussions right now around the continuation of another stimulus check. We will go over the amounts that they are discussing with Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary, continuing to urge that we are still at war with the virus and still need immediate relief. We also have some more words from Biden on Social Security reform for those on SSI and SSDI Social Security so we can see some changes coming from the Democratic Party proposing more changes for Social Security reform towards the end of this year. And Warren says it's time to go big for student loan forgiveness with big moves coming around that. This is your stimulus and economic news update, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So let's do our own stimulus on this channel, and if we can work together and get to 7,000 likes on this video, then I'm gonna give away $100 to five winners on this channel. And all you have to do to qualify is, number one, be subscribed to the channel, number two, smash that like button, and number three, comment on this video on what you think about getting a four stimulus check, social security, reform or student loan forgiveness and I just want to say that y'all are so awesome every one of you that supports the channel this would not be possible without you and please if anyone asks you for any personal info to contact them on whatsapp or for cryptocurrency or anything like that it's fake it's not me please don't do it but I may ask you for personal info it's just your email to contact you if you won the stimulus giveaway. So discussions are being had right now between the senators and the White House for another fourth stimulus check. This is amazing news. The leader of the Senate, Chuck Schumer, the chair of the Finance Committee, which is Bernie Sanders and Vice President Kamala Harris are all on board for another round of stimulus checks because they have all agreed that we are still need some immediate relief, that we are still fighting this pandemic and Americans still need some quick, fast relief hitting their bank accounts. We have Jen Psaki who said that we are still at war with this virus. And that's why we need to push and get Biden's stimulus packages passed. The Republicans have said that the bill for the, for the stimulus needs to be around $800 billion for infrastructure. And they have not even discussed the amount that's needed for the American Families Plan, but this is what Biden had to say about all of that. He said, I'm willing to compromise and hear the other side, but one thing is for certain, we will do something. We must act and we must act fast. Then we've got Bernie Sanders who said, we need to go ahead and push these stimulus packages through without GOP support. He said this is what the way that it needs to be done because the Democrats and Republicans are not going to meet eye to eye. They're not gonna get on the same page. They're too far apart when it comes to the cost from the Democratic side and from the Republican side. And this is exactly what happened last year when Pelosi was holding up things and stimulus things weren't large enough because they wanted more, the Democratic side wanted more, and the Republican side were trying to be more conservative in terms of spending, and what happened? Nothing, nothing happened, and that's literally what's going on right now, that if the Democrats don't push something through and do it through budget reconciliation, the GOP is not gonna be on board and they're not gonna vote to get anything passed. So Vice President Kamala Harris has proposed a bill for recurring stimulus checks till the pandemic ends. Biden is saying we need to act fast and get things going. You got Bernie Sanders who's pushing for stimulus checks as well as pushing for budget reconciliation to get these stimulus packages passed. And this all leads us to where we are right now in determining how much the checks are actually going to be because we know that the Democrats are gonna move forward with budget reconciliation. Even Chuck Schumer said, this is the way we gotta go and he's already has the uh, go ahead from the Senate parliamentarian. So there has been no talk of less than $2,000 per adult and $1,000 per child. Now the big seats are pushing for reoccurring like Kamala Harris and Bernie Sanders, but at the latest we could see at least one time payment for each of these amounts for $2,000 for adults and $1,000 for kids. This would be a huge help to American families to get immediate relief, to actually see some money hit their bank accounts while we're still facing this pandemic. There wasn't that much jobs created in the month of April. I think they had speculated around eight or 900,000 and we only got like 200 some thousand. And this is where everybody is saying, hey guys, 
we need some more stimulus. We need to get things moving forward because there's families that are hurting a lot. So where do you stand on the stimulus checks? And consider this, consider the national debt because we've been, we've been spending a lot of money, everyone. And are you for a one-time payment? Are you for reoccurring checks? Because remember, this is something that's going towards debt that we have to pay back, whether it's us paying it back or our kids paying it back. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So Biden has some words to say concerning social security reform, and he is pushing very hard to increase the taxes on those making $400,000 or more to pay in additional taxes to cover the cost to increase payout to social security beneficiaries, as well as increase healthcare subsidies for those that are on social security, SSI and SSDI. His platform said this about Social Security. The Biden plan will put the program on a path to long-term solvency by asking Americans with especially high wages to pay the same taxes on those earnings that middle-class families pay. Understand that those that are making over 400,000, they've already paid the same amount of Social Security payroll taxes and Medicare taxes as everybody else. They just don't pay it above $142,800, it stops there. And that's where Biden wants to come in and then start it again. Once you make 400,000, anything above that, you would be paying those payroll taxes again on any amount you make over 400,000. So Biden's proposal would raise an estimated 740 billion in additional social security revenue over 10 years. The biggest change overall would be the potential increase of up to $547 for social security recipients per month based upon their initial payout. Out. Biden's plan would get everyone to at least a minimum benefit of 125% of the federal poverty level. And, inst and instead of seeing a 1.3 cost of living adjustment like we had in 2020 for Social Security recipients, they would actually see a gradually increasing benefits by 5%. And lastly, it would allow for surviving spouses to keep a greater share of the benefits that both spouses were receiving. The bill for this is being added to the American Families Plan so that it will, in Biden's words, take care of American families. This is much needed reform that has been talked about for a long time. Everybody in the comments has let me know that they've been saying they're gonna do this, they're gonna do that, but this is the difference. We finally have something in a bill that has a very likelihood of being passed because the votes are there. The Senate, the House, and the White House. So before, we've always had kind of a going back and forth of who controlled the, the Senate, who controlled the House, who controlled the uh, White House, and so that's why it seemed like nothing was ever getting done. But now that the Democrats control the White House, the Senate, and the House of Representatives, they have the ways and means to actually get this passed and get our friends on Social Security some help. So let me know your thoughts on the changes for Social Security that Biden is proposing and how much would it help you out. So Senator Elizabeth Warren, one of the biggest proponents of bringing student loan cancellations to Americans, is helping to get things in order for this to happen. She said, we've tried piling one complicated program on top of another to help people manage their debts, but it's time to go big and it's time to go simple. And what she is proposing is $50,000 in student loan cancellations for all borrowers across the board. Senator Chuck Schumer, a Democrat of New York and the majority leader has joined Warren in urging President Biden to cancel up to $50,000 in student loans. We now have a petition that has gained over a million signatures to cancel student loan debt. So we have a lot of people that are backing the cancellation of these student loans. Now that's the one side of it. You do have the other side that says that why should taxpayers pay for the debt of those that chose to go to college when they didn't choose to go to college? So that's the other side. But we have another group who is the one who actually sponsored the petition, the student loan justice said, for the good of the nation, it is time that we end this broken federal lending system. We call on President Biden to cancel all federally owned loans in his first 100 days in office. We also call on the president and Congress to return standard bankruptcy protections to all student loans by executive order and through legislation. So Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren have both said that this can be done. 
by executive order of canceling $50,000 in student loans. And in so doing this, they would relieve 36 million Americans from having to pay their student loans, which would be 84% of all borrowers, which would save them on average at this time $393 per month. Have you signed this petition? What would you do with the extra $393 a month if your student loans got canceled and that's how much you were saving per month? But let me know down in the comments, but also let me know too where you stand because there's a lot of people that didn't go to college that say that they shouldn't be forgiven, but there's a lot of people that whenever they got into college, they got these student loans, but they never got a degree, but they're still having to pay tens and tens of tens of thousands of dollars back in student loans and they still don't have the job that they need to actually pay for those student loans, which is hurting them financially. It's hurting a lot of American families. Do you believe that the lending system is broken in terms of just being able for people to go and get as much money as they can from from these institutions to get uh, to pay for college and get into this really high student loan debt. I mean, we're talking $1.7 trillion of student loan debt that's here in the US. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. But besides all that, besides the stimulus, remember on this channel, we are about building our own wealth. We're making our futures brighter for ourselves, for those around us. We're not gonna wait on anybody, but we're gonna grow our money and we're gonna get some free money and you can start investing. You can start by getting two free stocks with Webull. You can get two free stocks with Robinhood. That's four free stocks by signing up and uh, setting up an account with both of those investing platforms. And when you get into them, they automatically give you these free stocks and you can either sell those off, you can either keep those, or you can you know, just let them grow. But the thing about it is, is getting into investing, letting your money work for you. The biggest goal, and this is Warren Buffett's words, you know, I'm changing it a little bit. He said, when you're sleeping, your money should be working for you. Your money should be growing. And that's the whole point of getting into like passive income so that you can get to a point of being financially free, not living paycheck to paycheck because that's where I used to be at. But now I'm getting to a point of financial freedom for myself, for my family, and I wanna help those out on this channel. So if you've got questions, put them down in the comments. I'll answer those links for Signing up and getting to those accounts are down in the description besides the uh, at the very top. So they're there, but let me know which free stocks you get if you choose to go with one of those. But take some extra change, change your life. Whether it's $5, whether it's $10, it doesn't matter. As long as you are investing, as long as you are growing your money, that's what matters. And if you're asking me, you know, I'm not a financial expert. I don't have all the expertise of those on Wall Street, but I can tell you this, the S&P 500, for the past like 10, 15 years has met, had an average annual return of 13.6%. So if you're looking to put your money in anything, I'll let you know, I'm being transparent. That's what I've got all my money into. It's a conglomeration of stocks, actually 500 uh, companies that you're putting a percentage into that can help grow your money. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all stimulus and economic news that affects you learn how to build some wealth. You got questions? Ask me down in the comments section. This is Joel True Life Investing. Until next time, peace out.